Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to create a very basic login form with PyQt5 in Python. So here's the login form we'll be creating. Within this uh, login form, we have a user input field and a password input field. And on the bottom, we have this uh, very simple looking login button. Now, if I click on the login button while uh, inputting any information, I'm going to get this incorrect password message box, uh, incorrect password. And if I enter the correct uh, user login credential, and I'm going to get the success uh, message box. So that's the application we'll be creating in this exercise. So to start, I'm going to in, uh, insert my PyQt uh, code snippet. And from the uh, Qt widgets module, I'll be uh, importing the Q application, Q widget, Q push button, and the label, uh, line edit. And for the uh, layout, I'm going to use the Q grid layout class uh, to organize all the widgets in a message box. And that's everything we need to import in terms of the, the, uh, the libraries. Now I'm going to rename my uh, application class from main window to login form. And here I'm going to construct my login form instance. So let's give our uh, application a, a title. So I'll name the title login form. I'm going to resize the window to 500 by 120. And here I'm going to create my layout object. Now we need to uh, insert each uh, widget individually. So the first widget will be the label. And I'm going to name the label, label name. And to increase the font size, I'm going to apply uh, CSS. So I'm going to set the font size to four points. And the label name will be username. And close tag. And right next to the label, we need to in, uh, insert line edit object. So I'm going to name the uh, the input field. Basically, the line edit is is basically an input field. And I'm going to name the input field self line edit underscore username. And I'm going to provide a placeholder. Oh, I mean not placeholder. Uh, text placeholder. And so I'm going to say, please enter your username. I'm going to insert those two widgets to my uh, my layout. And this is going to be the second column. Here, let me just go ahead and uh, do the self dot set layout. So we'll provide the layout. Uh, object is the layout manager. And here I made a type. Oh, so I forgot to activate my environment. And here, we'll, so we have the, the first row created. So right here, we have the username label and we have the input uh, field. Now we need to do the same for the password. So the font size will be uh, four. And for the input field, I'm going to name the object uh, self.lineEdit underscore password. I'm going to say, please enter your password. <clears throat> and I'll 
will add uh, those two uh, widgets to my layout. So this is going to be insert to the second row. So I'm going to assign one as the second row. And this is going to be the first column. So it will be one and zero. And this is going to be the second row and the second column. Now we'll create the, the input fields. Now we can go ahead and create our buttons. So I'm going to name the button, button login. And for the caption, I'm just going to say login. So here I want to assign the button to a click signal. But since I, I don't have the, the function or method created, so let me comment that out and let me go ahead and create the function right now. So I'm going to name the method check password. And to display the message box, we need to create a message box object. And I'll name the object MSG. And here I'm going to insert if statement to validate the uh, the username and the password. So here we can say that if the username is equals to my name, so Jai Jin, and if the password is equals to let's do uh triple zeros. Then we can give a uh, success message box. And to display the message box, we need to use the execute method. And since we know the login credential is uh, correct, so we can go ahead and uh, close the application. Otherwise, We are going to display a message, incorrect password, and display the message box. Okay, and that's for the, the uh, check password function. Now we just need to take this function and provide that to the uh, click uh, signal. And again, we need to add this uh, widget to our layout. With the button, I want to insert that to the second row, actually not the second row, third rows and starting from the first column. I'm going to expand the button all the way across the entire row. And I'm going to uh, expand the button uh, basically across in the entire uh, columns. So let me remove those two values and let me just uh, take a look at what the, the, the application looks like right now. And here, oh, so here I forgot the self uh, keyword. Okay, so here if I then um, expand the button, so it's going to look like this. So the button is going to uh, place right below the password label. So we want to, like I said, I want to expand the button size a little bit. So we can just basically uh, after the uh, the zero the the zero column index, and that's the parameter to specify your uh your widget size. So we want to across the entire uh the entire row and the entire columns. And okay, and that's the so that's close to the final product. So the looks still a, a little bit pretty compact. I want to give a little bit of uh space uh above and below the the push button. So to um give a little bit of uh, extra space uh, for your widget, so we can use the set row minimal heights method. And want to specify which row we want to uh, adjust the row heights. So we want to adjust the second row. And for the row height value, I'm going to use 75. And, and that's it. 
So that's everything. So this is the final, uh, final product. Now if I just simply enter in, uh, incorrect credential, so I say uh, J and for the password, I'm going to type some random text and login. So here I'm getting the, the incorrect password message. Now if I enter the correct credential and login, and that's, oops, so I'm still getting the, the incorrect password message. So let me double check. Oh, I know why. So I forgot an extra N. Okay. Now this time I'm getting the success uh, message. So that's everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.